Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install Octane 2022.1 RC3, which is the newest version of the plugin, with Cinema 4D's 2023 1.3. This is going to allow you to play with Pyro, which is really hot right now and is just one click away with the object tag. They've also introduced a very handy button, which is Ace's tone mapping, which is now available in one click in the camera imager. And you also have a working denoiser, which was always a problem on the Mac versions. So let's get started. So let's just make sure that you're running 2023.1.3. If not, you need to get that downloaded. Once that's downloaded, you then need to download the plugin. Now you'd think if you just went to the Ottawa website, click on downloads and go to the Mac OS 2022.1 setting, you'd think that that'd be the one, but it isn't. You have to actually dig around on the forums, but I've done that hard work for you. So all you have to do is click on the link in the description below. Disclaimer time, this will only work for Apple Silicon. So that's M1 and M2 chips. So no AMD cards and only for Mac OS 12.3.1. I'm doing this install on Monterey, but I'm sure it will be exactly the same for Ventura. So once that's downloaded, you just want to put it in a place that's quite handy. So I always just drag it onto my desktop. And if I just double click on there, these are all the files we'll need to install the plugin. We won't need all of them and I'll show you what to do in just a second. Once that's on a handy place on your desktop, open the finder and click on application. And in here, we want to try and find the Maxon Cinema 4D 2023 folder. Double click on that to open the application folder. If you followed one of my videos before, you will have the plugin and the Cinema 4D Octane folders ready. However, if this is a fresh install and you're doing this for the first time, you won't have that. So what you have to do is right click and create a new folder. In here, it will ask for your password. So quickly just type in your password because it's an admin change. You wanna label this folder plugins, all lowercase. Once you've done that, it will also ask for your password again because it's an admin change. And once you've done that, you want to double click into your plugins folder. And here you want to right click and create a new folder again. And you want to label this C4D Octane, all lowercase, just like you see on the screen here. Once you've done that, you've got the folder structure ready for your plugin. So we'll double click on our plugins folder. And in here, you'll actually see I have the most recent plugin that I've been using in here. So what I actually like to do is just create a new folder on my desktop enable this Cinema 4D Octane plugin backup because we never know if it's actually going to work. And I like to just Command C and Command V, copy and paste all of the contents of this folder into this new folder. Once we've done that, we want to right click and move to bin on the original plugins folder. And then that means we now have a full backup and an empty plugins folder. And you want to copy and paste the new one that we downloaded. You want to copy and paste all of that contents into the plugins folder. Now, whilst I was actually doing this, I didn't actually copy and paste it into the Cinema 4D Octane folder. And it's really important that all of those files live in the Cinema 4D Octane folder. Once we've done that, we want to double click into the Cinema 4D Octane folder. And then with these files, we need to make sure we keep R2023. So we actually need to right click on R26 and R25 and move those to the bin. So the only four things we should have in this folder, if I just change my view, is the Cinema 4D, to our 2023 xlib file, the dlib, the dot dat, and the res folder. These are the only four things that should be in this folder. If you do need to install for R26 or R25, you want to keep that respective xlib file. So that is actually our plugin installed, and it should just be within our Cinema 4D and plugins folder. And I can stop saying those words now because it's giving me a headache. So now that we are done, let's just move this over to the side and I will fire up Cinema 4D and let's see if it works. Aha, no, it doesn't. It comes up with our lovely malicious software check. No, God, please, no, no. Don't panic, this is normal. This happens every time. And if you watched any of my videos before, we know how to fix this. So the first thing we need to do is actually quit Cinema 4D. We then open the launch pad and type in terminal and we need to open the terminal. Again, this can get quite scary, but I'll walk you through it as easy as I can. So if you actually just go to any of my YouTube videos that have um, an Octane installation, they will have all of the terminal commands that we need in there. So I'm just going to go to this one here, which has got my annoying face on it. I'm going to tell them to shut up and I'm going to scroll down, open the description and you'll see down at the bottom beneath these tags, you'll see the terminal commands here. We need the command to disable the security gateway. So if you just copy and paste that command, the sudo spec tool master disable and press enter, it'll ask for your password and nothing will show up whilst you're typing your password, but just know that it is going through. And if you press enter, it should come up with just a new line. That means the terminal command has gone through. So now if I open to number 4D and give it a little while to initialize the plugins, you can see it's trying to figure out how to do that. And voila, 
we have Octane working. If you look in the top right, we have the Octane Live Viewer window here. I've already got mine docked. And if I just have a look at that, it says Live Viewer 2022.1 RC3. And if I just load one of my old scenes and just press render, you'll see that Octane is working. Aren't we all happy? Now, there is one more step that we have to do. So I'm just going to quit Cinema 4D, go back to my video, copy and paste this command, the re-enable security gateway, pseudo spectral enable, and just copy and paste that in, press enter. It's going to ask for your password again. So just type that in. Again, nothing's going to show up and press enter again. And you've got a new line, which means that we have re-enabled the gateway. So if I click on Cinema 4D and we open it again, wait for the plugins to do its thing. And yep, and you'll see that it opens first time and every time. And if I just reload that scene, you'll see that we have now got Octane working. So I'll try to do this as quickly as possible. Please feel free to pause and go through at your own time. But this is all the information you need to know to get Octane up and running on the new version of Cinema 4D. If I could ask one thing, please just leave a comment to let me know if it works for you. I love reading through all of them. And if it doesn't work, it's a really good place for us to all learn together how to solve those problems. And I do try and reply to every single one of the comments below. So thank you all for supporting this channel. And as it's five days before Christmas, I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas period with you and your families and have a wonderful new year too.